Our fifth and final rig is going to be this guy right here. His name is Mr. Biped. He may look a little more boring than the other characters, but for animators, he's likely going to be the most useful. Let's cover our requirements. The first and most obvious trait of Mr. Biped is that he has no face. So there's going to be no facial animation here, not even eyes. But what Mr. Biped is able to do is more body-oriented animation. In particular, he's going to be geared towards animation along the lines of acrobatics, kung fu, running, jumping, dancing, throwing things, I don't know. That sounds like a pretty tall order, and in some ways it is. However, we actually have most of the rigs for this figured out already. We know how to do IK-FK switching for arms and legs, we know how to do socket rigs for FK arms and legs, and we know how to rig fingers. And that's actually most of the rig right there. There are, of course, a few bits here and there that we need to figure out, like a better foot rig and a head and neck rig, but most of those are pretty simple. There's really only one big scary part of this rig, and that's the torso. And it is going to be big and scary. In fact, it's the most complex rig on this DVD, so watch out. But before we get to the rigging, let's take a look at this armature that's already here. In the interest of saving time, I've already set up the deformation bones of the rig, and set up all of the vertex group assignments. If you like, you are welcome to create your own instead, but if you do, you'll want to keep a couple of things in mind. The first is that you don't want to forget the shoulder bones. Shoulders are important. I mean, try raising your arm above your head without raising your shoulder. You can't do it unless you're an extremely talented contortionist, but in the real world, to raise your arm beyond approximately this point, you actually have to raise your shoulder. Something else to be aware of is that the pivot points of your shoulders are actually pretty far forward in your body. They're right at the base of your neck on the front of your body. That's because your shoulder is connected to your collarbone. In fact, if it weren't for your collarbone, your shoulder would only be connected to the rest of your body by muscle. The collarbone is the only rigid connection your shoulder has to your body. Therefore, the place where your collarbone connects to the rest of the body is the pivot point for the rotation of your shoulder. The second thing you want to keep in mind is that the palm area of the hand can actually curl. And in fact, curling the palm of the hand is critical when making a convincing fist pose. Many beginning riggers make the mistake of leaving this out, resulting in a lot of hand poses looking kind of off. So make sure to include bones for curling the palm of the hand. Both of these things, the shoulder and the hand, are illustrative of why studying anatomy can be really useful, and in particular taking the time to study the anatomy of whatever it is that you're rigging. For example, if you were to rig a cat, all that stuff I just told you about the shoulder wouldn't apply. Why? because cats don't have collarbones. Knowing the anatomy of whatever it is you're rigging is critical. For a simplified character like this, we certainly don't need to know everything about human anatomy, but at least knowing how things connect to each other, how they move, and where they rotate from is important. Anywho, with that out of the way, let's get rigging.